Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. This is segment two of episode 22. One important step in acquiring a language is moving from social language to academic language. Now, I'm not talking about Ivy League schools here. Rather, I'm talking about basic academic language functions. And one of those is being able to compare and contrast things. In an academic setting, comparing is noting how things are alike, and contrasting is communicating how they're different. For this purpose, we'll compare and contrast passenger trains with freight trains. Lately, we featured various passenger trains on our previous episodes. Think about all you've learned about passenger trains from those episodes. We'll need to do that work when we compare and contrast. Now let's review freight trains. We haven't featured them since our early episodes. Keep taking notes, and we'll put all of this together after this. Freight trains. The United States has more of them than passenger trains. Freight is an English word that refers to anything that is carried from one place to another. Freight trains carry things on rails. This freight train is being pulled through Eugene, Oregon by locomotives. Can you count the locomotives on this train? Locomotive is another word for engine. It's the power that makes a train move. These diesel electric locomotives are hitched together. This train requires four locomotives. The wagons pulled by locomotives are called cars. These cars are carrying wood products, one of Oregon's industries. These are perhaps the best known of the cars on a freight train, box cars. They have doors on the sides. There's a series of books called The Boxcar Children about kids who live in a boxcar. In the past, people used to board empty boxcars to travel. Behind these boxcars, this freight train is pulling tank cars. They carry liquids and are cylinder shaped. Now back to cars that are carrying wood products. In English, we can use the words made up of to describe something with more than one part. For example, you could say that this train is made up of locomotives, box cars, and tank cars. You could use more advanced English. Instead of saying is made up of, you could say consists of. In fact, the word consist is used in railroading as a noun by shifting the accent to the front of the word. This train has a consist of locomotives, boxcars, and tank cars. Now we see utility poles carried on flat cars. Now, more wood products. Here's an empty flat car, followed by a gondola. And now we see lumber cars. These are the same things that had the wood products on them, only now they're not covered and you can see that it's carrying lumber. These cars are also called skeleton cars.
last two cars are called hopper cars. They unload from the bottom. Notice there's no doors on the side. And this is the last car on this freight train, and there's a red light at the back of it so that it can be seen as the back of the train. The yellow locomotives tell us that this is a Union Pacific train. This is a Union Pacific freight train traveling along the south bank of the Columbia River, which forms the border between Oregon and Washington. What kinds of train cars can you recognize on this train?